recognized. Thank you uh, so much, Madam Speaker, and thank you so much uh, to Representative for yielding. I rise in strong support of my resolution on the floor today and calling for the immediate release of Ryan Corbett, a United States citizen who was wrongfully detained by the Taliban on August 10, 2022, and condemning the wrongful detention of Americans by the Taliban. This resolution demands the Taliban immediately and unconditionally release Ryan Corbett and all other wrongfully detained Americans from captivity. When I first heard of my constituent, Ryan Corbett, and his detention, and about the brutal conditions he was facing from his lovely wife, Anna, I was heartbroken. Our community is heartbroken. Ryan was detained by the Taliban, as I said, on August 10, 2022, after dedicating over a decade of his life and his family's life to helping the Afghan people start a self-sustaining local economy. To date, Ryan has never been charged with a crime. Ryan is being held in a nine by nine foot basement cell without regular access to a bathroom, sunlight, medical care, or decent food. Reports from now freed individuals who were detained with Ryan state that Ryan is in poor health with discolored extremities. He suffers from fainting and seizures and fainting eyesight. Ryan has been held for over 670 days. Ryan has only had a mere handful of phone calls with his loving wife, Anna, and his three children, Katsia, Miriam, and Caleb, all of whom were my guests on the State of the Union this year. The Biden administration must do everything in its power to bring Ryan home and reunite Anna with her husband and their three wonderful children and have them spend time with their father in the way they should. I'm honored that 72 members on both sides of the aisle have joined me as original co-sponsors of this resolution, making it clear that freeing Ryan is a bipartisan priority. In crafting this resolution, I worked closely with the minority and majority staff of the House Foreign Affairs Committee and, of course, the Corbett family. I want to give my deep felt thanks to Chairman McCall, Ranking Member Meeks, and everyone in the leadership uh, on all sides of the Foreign Affairs Committee for their support in helping this resolution come to the floor. I'm pleased to see that it passed the House Foreign Affairs Committee unanimously on February 6th. I urge all of my colleagues to support this resolution and show the Biden administration that Congress is paying attention and stands united in demanding Ryan's freedom. Further, this resolution will send an indisputable message to Ryan and all of our American detainees that Congress is there with us, they're thinking of you, they're praying for you, and they're continuing to work to secure your release. And I also want to acknowledge and thank Anna Corbett, her children, for their strength and their courage during these difficult days filled with uncertainty and anguish, and uncertainty about Ryan's health, his, his, whether he will be returned. And I also just want to mention a special word of note. Anna is a true inspiration to everyone, not only her children, but everyone in our community. She exhibits incredible grace and resolve in an unimaginably difficult situation as the mother of three children and, and, the, and the wife of Ryan Corbett, who's been suffering this for over 670 days. And I also, again, want to thank my colleagues on both sides of the aisle and everyone who has joined in advocating for Ryan's release. And I encourage all my colleagues to support this common sense resolution. And thank you to everyone for your love and care of the Corbetts and the Corbett family. Uh, with that, Mr. Speaker, I yield back.